Hey, hi everyone, Bill from statisticsmentor.com. So I've shown you how to set up and interpret an intercept dummy. Uh, this time around I'm going to show you how to set up and interpret slope dummy, which is the other type of dummy. To recap then, let's take this example of earnings data. My dependent variable is earnings measured in thousands of dollars per year. Tenure measured in years, that's time spent in a company. And then we have this dummy variable called urban takes value 1 if you are in an urban, work in an urban area and 0 if you're in a rural area. So urban, since it's a dummy variable, consists of columns of 1s and zeros. So the first person here, 0, so that person works in the rural area. Second person, coded 1, works in the urban area and so on. We run the regression. Now in this case, what we have is a case of an intercept dummy. And quickly to recap then, how would you look at this, interpret this coefficient? You would say, a person working in an urban area earns more than a person in a rural area by 3.7 thousands of dollars per year, irrespective of tenure. Now we're going to stretch that to the case of slope dummy. What is a slope dummy? What you do is you take hold of your dummy variable and you multiply by the independent variables or the explanatory variables. Here there's only one of them. We multiply tenure like this. I want to be clear again. So how you set up a slope dummy is you take your dummy variable and multiply it by one of the explanatory variables. If there's more than one, you'll have more you'll do it for each one. Since here I've only got one explanatory variable, I just have one slope uh, dummy enter. Here's the output. Okay, now how do we interpret the coefficient on this slope dummy? Well, it's like this. Since it's a positive sign, this tells us for a person who works for an additional, spends an additional year in a company, that, that if that person is working in an urban area, he'll earn more than a person in a rural area because it's a positive sign. If it was negative uh, for an additional year spent in a company, the person working in an urban area will earn less than a person in a rural area. Okay, So remember the thing is that when we've got dummy variables we are comparing. It's about comparisons. Comparisons to what? To the reference category. Here the reference category is rural because urban is coded 1 for urban, 0 for rural. Now let's actually interpret with a figure here. We would say for an additional unit in, for an additional year spent in a company, i.e. for one unit increase in tenure, a person working in an urban area will earn more than a person in a rural area by an additional 0.21 thousands of dollars per year. So I say that again for unit for an additional year spent in a company, a person earn work earn uh, work um working in an urban area will earn more than a person in a rural area by 0.21 thousands of dollars per year. And that's it. Supposing we have an additional explanatory variable, say S for years of schooling, we could set up a dummy for that as well. How do we interpret it this time? We would say that for, p for a person with an additional year of schooling, that if they worked in an urban area, they earn more than the person in the rural area by 0.25 thousands of dollars a year. Okay, and uh, th so that's it for slope dummy. Um, if there's any remark to make is that maybe I didn't make it earlier is that when I did this urban times tenure urban times s is actually multiplication so I'm multi creating a new variable by multiplying whatever this figure is for each person times that okay urban tenure so if you want to see what that is let's just go to the data let's look at what it looks like just to finish off urban Right, urban tenure. 
this is something I've created as a product of the two. For the first person, tenure is 16.7, urban is 0. Multiply those two gives you this, which I've called TU, 0. Second person, tenure is 14, urban is 1. Multiply those two figures, gives you the product 14, and so on. So you can see, get an idea of what this is. It's this thing here, these numbers. And it doesn't matter, of course, whether, since it's multiplication, it doesn't matter whether you do urban times tenure or, ter or tenure times urban. It comes to the same thing. Okay, guys, so that's um, slope dummies, um, how to run it in eViews and how to interpret them. Hope it's been useful. Take care.